What's going on everybody? I am back with another prize picks MLB player props video coming off a nice 2 and 0 oh day yesterday. We are currently on a 14 and 5 run. So we've been keeping that winning percentage up above 70% in these videos. That is always the goal. Looking to keep it going in this one, guys. Uh, the goal going to be obviously keeping that winning percentage up above 70%, keeping this hot streak going as long as we can. If you enjoy this content, would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It is free. The support has been way down as of late. We can't even hit 100 likes. There's typically thousands of people watching these videos, if not in the upper hundreds. If we can get this up to 100 likes, that would be fantastic, guys. Like I said, I'm on a 14-5 run. It's free content. It really does help me out. It takes two seconds for you to hit that like button, and it is free. And if you're getting very serious and you would like to show some support, the premium content package is going to be where it's at. That is linked below in the description. You obviously get way more value over there. You get all my picks, all of my tickets, every single one of the plays on the board that I'm playing on that day. Prize picks and Underdog Fantasy are the two major hub prop apps at the time. So I do cover those two in the lower tier packages if you're just looking to get access to my player pool, every single player that I have in my tickets. But if you want all of my tickets as soon as I place them, get those value alerts, get those... Uh, VIP plays of the day that cash yesterday as well. We went with Mr. Jose Altuve and uh, he was able to cash in for us after Wander Franco was a DMP the day prior. Unfortunately, that lineup came out late because of the, you know, the 940 time slot. Found out he wasn't in the game, so that was a little bit unfortunate day prior, but back on the winning grind on the play of the day yesterday. And like I said, of course, you get all my tickets, all my core plays, all that fun stuff over there. If you are interested, that is linked below in the description. It is patreon.com slash kjk underscore DFS. You can just visit patreon.com and search kjk DFS in the find a creator search bar as well if you are interested in that. And if you have not signed up for prize picks, you can use the promo code kjk DFS when you sign up today to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100. So I got two picks for you guys in the late game tonight. So you should be able to lock these things in. And uh, let's talk about it. We will go game by game, as we always do, break down precisely why I do like these plays. And the first game that I would like to talk about is going to be the Tampa Bay Rays taking on the Oakland Athletics. The Tampa Bay Rays are 280 favorites in this one. They get to play in Oakland A Coliseum, which is one of the best pitching environments in baseball. And they got Tyler Glass now on the bump today, who is an absolute stud. Let's go ahead and break down his stuff. Let's go ahead and break down the opponent, the Oakland Athletics. Um, on the current season, you can see a lot of strikeouts throughout their lineup, which is going to cause some issues for them because Tyler Glass now features... On the season, a 25.9% carry rate to lefties and a 46.7% carry to righties. So he's been phenomenal. Uh, coming off that injury, he's always been an elite pitcher. Really, it's just been his health that's holding him back, but he is back in this one. Um, the A is obviously having a very low implied team total, and Tyler Glass now being a heavy favorite in this one. Uh, I certainly do like his pitcher fantasy score over here. Uh, on price picks. You look at the last 30 days as far as the Oakland Athletics and their K rates, you can see through the heart of the order, Noda, Loriano, Seth Brown, Brent Rooker, all striking out at pretty much 30% or more rates. Uh, Ramon Loriano barely below that with a 29.7% K rate. Then obviously Shea Langlier is at the bottom of the lineup. Uh, and also not a ton of power throughout the lineup. You got Seth Brown with a 226 ISO over the last 30 days in that four spot. But outside of him, nobody with a 200 ISO or more. Uh, talked about how this game is going to be played in Oakland. That should just help Glassnell's case even more. 62 degrees. We do have 10 mile an hour winds blowing out, but not too much of a concern for me um, when we're talking about this pitching environment. And then obviously that 280 favorite is going to help him hopefully uh, to get that win bonus. You should get the quality start bonus as well, as he is a favorite to go um, seven or more innings. So uh, for pick number one, are going to discuss Tyler Glassnell. We will go with his fantasy score prop over here on prize picks. Uh, we'll pull up his game logs as far as how he's been faring, just to give you guys an overall visual, as I always like to do. Six innings pitch, 5.1, 4.1. Once again, he's been working his way back from that injury, guys. We've seen him right in the mid-80s as far as pitch count's concerned. I think we can continue to see that ramp up. And uh, he is a minus-150 favorite to go over the 17.5. That's obviously very important for us when we're targeting pitcher fantasy score. Uh, minus-150 on DraftKings Sportsbook to go over 17.5 outs. That's obviously six innings. We're looking at, you know, right in the middle as far as the eight and a half strikeout prop. Uh, but if he goes six innings, doesn't allow a run, gets those eight strikeouts, maybe he gets hooked on the K prop, he can still easily hit if he gets that run support, gets that win bonus. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with the prize picks scoring format, I'll break this down as far as how this is going to go. Uh, for pitchers, they get six points for the win. 
To qualify for a win, you have to go five innings or more. You have to depart the game with your team winning the game, and then your team has to keep the lead throughout the entire remaining of the game and win the game. That's how you get a winning. That's how you get a win. A quality starts when you go six or more innings and you allow three earned runs or less. If the opposing team scores runs that are not earned, that's not going to count against you. The earned runs are negative three, three for every strikeout and one point for every out. So this is all factored in, you know, to these projections. Um, what I'm expecting out of glass now tonight. And I do think he's able to crush tonight. Eight and a half strikeouts is a crazy number. Uh, but like I said, I think he can hit this over 43 and a half pitcher fantasy score. Even if he's able to go out there and get eight strikeouts, which is pretty, pretty much what he's projected to get. You know, there's a little bit of juice on the under uh, eight and a half. He could certainly go out there and strike out 10. He has much more upside. It would not hurt our feelings one bit. If he wants to go out there and have a master class and get down 12 uh, strikeouts, he should still hit his pitcher fantasy score. You know, I'm just, you got to think worst case scenario. Is there more edge in the K prop? Is there more edge in the pitcher fantasy score prop? Uh, that's kind of the name of the game. And for me, uh, I do prefer the pitcher fantasy score due to the fact, I mean, the Rays are taking on Luis Mendina. He's also a bad pitcher. The Oakland Athletics have a bad bullpen. I just expect him to get run support. I expect him to get every single one of these bonuses. And uh, he is not expected to give up more than one earned run as well. Uh, latest odds on that. We're looking on drafting sportsbook at uh, minus, I think it was like, yeah, minus 145 on the under 1.5. So obviously you can factor all this stuff in. Uh, it makes a lot of sense. Uh, we're going with the over 43.5 pitcher fantasy score prop here for Tyler Glass now for pick number one. I also like the fact that he's got a few starts under his belt. That pitch count should continue to climb. Uh, you know, it makes me feel a lot better about this start than I would if he was still on like his second start, let's say. So uh, that would be pick number one. And then pick number two, going to go down to another late game slot. Like I said, I'm giving you guys these late picks, so you should be able to lock these in. You should have plenty of time to get them in your prize picks entries. And we're going to talk about another great pitcher here uh, in Clayton Kershaw, who gets to take on the Chicago White Sox. He is, once again, a very heavy favorite. We're talking about minus 270 juice as far as the L.A. Dodgers money line. They're expected to put up a lot of runs for Kershaw tonight, and he gets to take on a Chicago White Sox team. Uh, that has been striking out a ton versus left-handed pitching. We'll go ahead and break their numbers down uh, on the season. As far as the White Sox are concerned, you can see Yohan Moncada, Luis Robert, uh, Yasmani, I'm sorry, Jake Berger, Yasmani Grandal, Clint Frazier, Romy Gonzalez, Elvis Andrews, all featuring very, very heavy strikeouts. We're talking about one, two, three, four guys with a 30% K rate or more. And then you also got one, two, three more guys with a 25% K rate or more. So there's a ton of strikeouts to be had throughout this lineup. Um, Clayton Kershaw at times has displayed a little bit of ISO issues uh, throughout the season, but overall his numbers are pretty good. A 167 ISO versus those righties, 298 Woba versus righties. He only got a 5% carry to those righties. And then when we break down the last 30 days um, for the Chicago White Sox team, they're striking out even more. And the discipline is really what stands out to me too. Look at these walk rates, only a four, five, four, four, four percent walk rate. So that clearly indicates to me that this team's swinging freely. They're not really being too disciplined. Um, that's going to cause some issues against a guy like Clayton Kershaw, who's a veteran and knows how to capitalize on hitters such as that. He's going to stay in the zone, but he's also fully capable, of course, throwing that 12-6 curveball out of the zone, getting hitters to chase uh, and kind of preying on the, the competition. He knows what he's dealing with here. So I think it's a great matchup here for Clayton Kershaw uh, to take advantage. And we will certainly break down his game logs um, as far as how he's been faring here for you guys. Clayton Kershaw, um, pulling up these last few games. You can see seven and seven innings pitch respectively the last two times out. We've seen him up during the upper 90s as far as pitch count's concerned. Nine and nine strikeouts, zero earned runs, two earned runs. So his recent form has been phenomenal, taking on Cincinnati and the Yankees the last two times out. He did record a win in both of those games. As you can see, his team put up eight runs for him and six runs. So Clayton Kershaw just has a ton of good things going for him. He's backed by a tremendous offense in the LA Dodgers. Um, is expected to go seven or more innings. It seems like he does every start. That line set at 18 and a half pitching out, so he's expected to go seven more. And we're looking at the earned runs. There's slight juice on the over 1.5, but if he allows two earned runs or less, gets seven strikeouts or more, gets that quality start bonus and the win bonus, he's still going to hit where his uh, current pitcher fantasy score prop is set at 42.5 uh, over here on prize picks. If this was bumped up to 43.5, I will say that does make a bit of a difference. Uh, it's kind of a big difference. Believe it or not, that one pitcher fantasy score uh, could cause an issue for us. Just strictly because if he was to give up two run runs, go those six innings, you're looking at uh, him ending with 43 even, uh, which obviously would create a little bit of an issue. So if he, does get, if he does get bumped, I will say that is a little bit significant on this prop. I'm hoping he doesn't. Um, 
but yeah, it's 42 and a half when I'm releasing the video. Hopefully this doesn't get bumped. Hopefully you guys can lock it in. I do the best I can to provide this content for free. If it gets bumped, I really can't do much about it. If you want to play it, uh, pretty much what it's going to boil down to if that were to happen is him to come out in the seventh inning. Uh, if he's done through six, gets those bonuses, but then he doesn't pitch in the seventh inning, you're going to get hooked uh, at 43 if this gets bumped up to 43 and a half. So just a little bit of a warning there to you guys. Uh, but Going with the over uh, 42.5 pitcher fantasy score here for Clayton Kershaw for pick number two. Tyler Glass now, Clayton Kershaw, two of the most dominant arms in the league. Both great matchups, both taking on teams that are striking out a bunch, both backed by offenses that are expected to put up a lot of runs tonight. These are all things that should fare well for these two picks. Looking to keep the uh, streak going in this one, guys. If you enjoyed the content, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. It is free. It takes two seconds to do. Those really help me out, and I'll be helping you guys out with these videos for you all MLB season long. Once again, the premium content is linked below in the description. If you want to hop over there, there's a lot more value to be had. My tickets, my core plays, you get pushed alerts as soon as I send them. You got the core play tiers. You can mix and match your own two, three, four mans, whatever you want. I try to teach how to play optimally. A uh, ton of things going on over there. And uh, you can use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match on your first deposit up to $100 if you have not signed up for prize picks already. Take advantage of that free money offer. Start winning some money with these picks today. Wishing you guys all the best of luck. On your prize picks, MLB player props tonight, and we will see you in the next one.